and we'll move back to our earlier story on the sad development that occurred at the Oniru Axis this morning, talking about the uncompleted building that collapsed this morning. And report has it that about two persons have been confirmed dead, or four persons are still trapped in the rubble. Our senior correspondent is on standby live at the site of the collapsed building. Now, Doja, give us an update on the situation there. What's uh, the report you are giving us at this point? I can hardly hear the studio, but um, if I'm on now, what is going on here is that um, it's another scene of uh, building collapse in Lagos State here on uh, Oba Oniru Road, Oba Oniru Street in Lekki area of the state. It's another Sunday and it's another tragedy in Lagos State. Um, the building behind me used to be a seven-story building and it caved in around 3 a.m. this morning. Uh, the emergency respondents are here working, busy, trying to evacuate uh, people. But um, two people have lost their lives uh, in this building and four others, uh, the emergency responders are still trying to rescue four others, uh, probably alive. We pray that they are rescued, that they will be rescued alive. Um, aside from emergency management um, agency that is here, we also have uh, NEMA, there are police, and then um, there are also other other emergency responders. There are ambulances on ground to rescue victims, um, but um, no no relatives, no relatives at all, no relatives of uh, the victims here, because uh, we were told it's a site. It's an uh, ongoing construction. The building is still under construction, and there are no relatives. So it's, it's possible that um, the only people, the six people that were trapped here, are workers that are working on this uh, building. Uh, recently, the Lagos State Government inaugurated, that was last year, 2021, in October precisely, the Lagos State Government inaugurated certificates of completion and fitness for habitation. And that comes to questioning that if that is in place, then what happened to this building that's supposed to get certificates of completion, uh, even though it is not yet complete, completed, for the fitness for habitation? That is actually to, I mean, the issue of a building collapse across the state. Building collapsed in Bariga uh, in June or thereabouts. Building collapsed in, on Gerard Road. And um, building collapse, remember it's a Faji building collapse. The Gerard Road in that killed close to 50 people. This is another six people that were trapped here, two dead already, and four others. The emergency responders are still combing the, combing the rubble to bring out the four others. And um, I have here Mr. Oson Yitolu, the general manager, La Sema. So I would like you to actually shed more light on all of this. Mr. Osun Yitulu, this is becoming worrisome in Lagos State. And um, as I said, the Lagos State government recently inaugurated uh, certificates of uh, uh, completion and um, fitness for habitation. So we wonder why this is happening at this time. Who is going to be responsible for this? Well, I won't look into, into that angle. My own angle and the perspective that I will look at it is that our operation is swift, prompt, effective and efficient. We were called at 3.15 a.m. that a seven-story building collapsed. And the most important thing that you need to appreciate that the relevant government agency has sealed this place up. So, one way or the other, will you... Will you seal it up when now or before now? Before now, before the incident. So what happened? Why didn't it... Uh, we will get to that because we are going to carry out holistic investigations. What we are doing now, this place is still live, and all the key stakeholders are on the ground. You can see the ambulance services are on the ground, the LASEMA on the ground, the NEMA on the ground, the building control agents are on the ground, and the Commissioner of Physical Planning is on the ground. And with this combined effort, we use just a sophisticated equipment to comb the area up, and you can see that the, the scene was divided into three quadrants and we are using different heavy duty uh, heavy duties to achieve our purpose holistic
seek search and rescue, safety of life of that place. And gradually, we are moving to Grand Zero. We, if you look at it now, it's a same story. If you look at it right, if you if, come and look at it, if you look at it right now, we are now on the fourth level in our um, first quadrant that we thought that people could be. At the uh, outer quadrant, we are at um, level two. You can see that we are using different uh, equipment for different activities, and all this is under the watch of this governor, Mr. Babajide Olushola Sawolu. Okay, what is the possibility that you still have people alive here? Well, we are, are doing our calls? Are they making calls? We are making calls. No, those people no, 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 no calls no at call. all. We are so far, we have recovered two bodies mm -hmm. and we are using different methods, different techniques, different equipment to achieve our result. Okay. We are using different methods, different equipment and different uh, formula to achieve our, uh, our goal. And our goal is clear to save anybody that is that is under that under the robots. All right, thank you so much, Mr. Hassan Itolo. So uh, we'll be bringing you this uh, story as it's unfolding. As I said, no relative at all around here. We have journalists, we have uh, police, we have uh, rescue um, emergency respondents. And as uh, also, Mr. Hassan Itolo said, he said that this building has been marked as unsafe before it kept in at about um, 3 a.m. this morning. So that is where the question is. So we really want to know who is to be held responsible for this despite the Lagos State government certificate of uh, fitness, certificate of completion, and this is happening again in the state. Ade Doja, thank you so much for giving us an update on the situation. We'll hope that you get more for us at the top of the hour.